welcome back to another video. It's your boy Alan Bora, and we back with another video. As y'all can see from the thumbnail and the title, we not capping, bro. So I hired a professional stunt driver. Y'all know I just bought my M3 competition. Huh? What's up, big dog? What's up, man? It's great. Hey. Hi, YouTube. So like I was saying, um, so I hired a professional stunt driver to come out and drift my M3 all day. 24 hours, they're gonna drift my M3. Because y'all know, I don't wanna drift it myself because I'm not a professional stunt driver. You see what I'm saying? Not yet. You see what I'm saying? So, I might have a professional stunt driver come out and drift the M3 off for 24 hours, bro. So this video gonna be crazy. I haven't seen anybody done a video like this. Drifting my BMW M3 competition for 24 hours. So right now we're about to go to breakfast, link up with everybody, and then we're gonna head to the spot. This spot is very private. It's in Mexico, so we have to ship the cars to Mexico, and then we're gonna take a plane over there. It's, it's, it's like a two hour, three hour flight. And the car's gonna get there in like probably like 24 hours because they gotta drive cross country, of course. But once the cars get there, once we there, we're gonna line up everything. The the, uh, the stunt driver come in, I think tomorrow morning. And then once he get in, we're gonna you know let him hop in the M3 and show me what the M3 does. So that way I could go ahead and learn by myself. You know what I'm saying? So if y'all new to the channel, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, turn on my post notifications. And uh, we have a lot of lit content coming with this. My track out, my Lambo, and I got a Hellcat on the way. And I'm getting a GTR. So make sure y'all stay tuned for that. I did come my blinker on. I swear to God, you did. You but start breaking and then. But that don't have nothing to do with it. When I got him on the show, he got behind you. This was so nice. He yeah. almost hit me. No, look. Yeah, that's what. Saying. Look, he was on my bumper, so I had to go up. Shonio he was in the other way. Shonio wasn't behind him. I almost hit you. So, he almost hit me, and it just kept trickling down. Look, yeah, he, he almost hit you. I almost hit you. You almost hit me. He almost hit you. But nigga, we ain't here. Yeah, we ain't here. We stopped. So look, you this way. No, look. This yeah, they said, I did, I did, cause, cause yeah, I was asking Ken, I was like, is it that one or this one? I'm trying to think at the same time, so I was like, damn, it's this one, so I'm about to turn. Shania was in the other lane, he wasn't even with us. No, Shania was, was behind, he, he was behind, behind he, he followed Shania. He, he was finna hit me, he was, I don't care, he was like, he was finna hit me type shit. Then yeah, this nigga come out of nowhere and got down. What's the fuck he just, uh, yeah, when that nigga slouched over. What? Hey, we finna get off the main road, that pull right here. Alright y'all, so Shawnee will show me, show me, show me your car. We're about to drive the M3 and as y'all see we got all the cars out right now, but somebody rear ended Sean. So this is this is crazy. It ain't too bad though, Sean. It's just a back it's just a uh, back bumper. Yeah. I might just stay in my own lane. I don't know, you gonna do insurance? y'all so for some reason i gotta take my lambo to get i think it's this wheel right here or it might be this wheel right here we gotta go get alignment or change the tire and my track off it's just the tag expired but everything good with it and then today i'm taking my m3 to go get the O2 sensor installed so the engine light could come off. But um, we not done yet with this video. As y'all see from the, uh, the thumbnail and the title, we are sliding this M3 this whole video. You know what I'm saying? We sliding the M3 the whole video. So, but I'm I'm about to get the O2 sensor fixed first before, you know what I'm saying? We do anything else. And then I gotta go to the city, link up with them boys. And we gonna get some lit content today for y'all, bro. Like I tell y'all, I'm back on YouTube, like, for good. Like, I got a lot of content for y'all. I got a lot of lit content planned. Everything gonna be planned out and professionally made because I don't want to make no crappy video for y'all. You know what I'm saying? A video that don't make sense. And it's just, I'm driving and doing shit. And I'm also having a lot of POVs coming to the channel. So I'm, I'm trying to get some type of mount that gonna give y'all that full ability to see like the steering wheel and the road at the same time because I don't want to hold the phone while I'm doing the POVs. So I'm working on getting everything like that situated right now. Boom, that M3 looks so damn good. I'm supposed to be getting my hair done today too, but this is the garage right here, man. We got track called Lambo M3 right here. I can't show the number on my house, but y'all see it. Y'all get the gist. Got an M3 track called Lambo. And I'm wrapping the M3 soon. So y'all stay tuned for that. I'm gonna catch y'all. We're, We're about to go on the road right now. Head to the dealership where they're about to fix the O2 sensor. 
Uh, I'm gonna give y'all a little bit of POV while, when we on the way there. Uh, hopefully I enjoy this video. Bro, so if any of y'all that's watching this video right now knows any way I could mount my camera so the POVs could look good because when I use the head mount, like the camera be all the way up here like, and looking down, you can't even see the road. And I'm trying to, I'm trying to, and when I hold the phone, I can't perform how I want to perform. So I'm trying to find a way where I could mount. I'm thinking like a suction cup on the, um, on the sunroof coming down so you could see that way. But I was also thinking my Trackhawk and my Lambo does not have a sunroof. So I got to find something that's, that, that's practical for all, like that could work for every car that I have. And it's just, it's hard getting these POVs, bro, because like, I don't want to hold the phone. This got a sunroof, so I might have a way to get the suction cup to get the POVs in this, but how I'm gonna get it in my Trackhawk and my Lambo if I don't have a sunroof? Like, I genuinely want to know like a solution because I've been trying, if y'all follow me on Snapchat, which most of y'all probably don't, it's been a, I've been trying to figure this out for the longest, but if y'all don't follow me on Snapchat, make sure y'all go follow me, link down below. I post up there every day, new cars, everything that happens, it happens over there. But I generally need help to see how I can mount these cameras or my phone so I can get the POV perfect for y'all. Like I'm trying to figure that out. Right now I'm on the way to a dealership. Um, they're gonna put the O2 sensor in and my engine light gonna be gone. And I'm also, I should be able to boost more. That's what somebody told me. I'm gonna get more boost or I'm gonna be able to perform better when I get that fixed. But I don't know how true that is, but I'm about to slide every corner on the way to the dealership. So make sure y'all stay tuned for that. All right y'all, so right now we on the way to the dealership. Riding that M3 competition, bro. I love sliding this car because it's so small. But we on the way to the dealership. I went for the car to warm up, and I got a flat tire. But I drove this shit all the way. I drove this shit all the way to North Carolina, from North Carolina to Virginia Beach, from Virginia Beach all the way to Georgia, bro. Like this car, I just drove, I drove the hell out of this car. I gotta get a car wash. I gotta get a detail. But we need to get the engine light fixed first. That's the main thing, bro, is the engine light. We have to get that fixed today, today, today. The nigga said come at one o'clock. I'm going to be there at 1226. So there's no way they can't get that shit fixed at 1226. You feel me? So that's what we're doing right now. So the car warm up. The car finally warm up. I'm going to... Um, I'm gonna see if the car really warm, you know what I'm saying? Look behind us. Smoke. Smoke. Everywhere. <laughs> it's real easy, bro. It's like, you gotta know how to feather the gas and, and power steer that motherfucker. Like, that's crazy. You gotta learn how to feather the gas and power steer the vehicle. And you gotta upshift while you do it. While you get to a certain RPM, you gotta upshift, and that's when you're gonna start getting that smoke in an M3 or an M4 or whatever BMW y'all riding in. Y'all gotta know how to, y'all gotta know how to do it. Cause if you don't know how to do it, your ass grass, good. Your ass gonna be grass, good. I'ma slide the corner right here. I got a crazy tune on this. I got a crazy tune on this car, bro. That's why I'm telling y'all I'm ready to do the POVs because the POVs gonna be crazy. The POVs gonna be crazy. That's why I'm trying to get this mount. But I do get, I, I, the last video I posted where I was downshifting in high RPM, I do apologize to the BMW fans, the BMW supporters. I didn't know how to drive a BMW. I did not know how to drive a, none of these cars. I didn't know about the crank hub. I didn't know about none of that. But I went to the shop and everybody was telling me that the crank hub is important and I gotta make sure that's changed. But I'm assuming the crank hub in this car is already changed out due to the fact that I feel like whoever had this car was drifting the hell out of it 
or they was racing this car because of the stickers that was on the car. You could tell like, you know, that, that that's what they was doing. So I'm assuming that the crank up is already changed out. <laughs> already changed out just because of what they was doing with the car but I'm still gonna get it checked out to make sure that it's checked it's you know it's good and I don't I don't downshift the high rpms no more so y'all got that one out you know what I'm saying I appreciate y'all bro because y'all letting me know what I can and what I can't do and I'm taking that into account and doing the right thing but now I can tell y'all I know how to I know how to control this car now I know how to handle this car now as y'all can see I can swing this I could swing this motherfucker where I want to swing this motherfucker. Just like crazy. This is like music, bro. That's crazy. traction because traffic was coming but i love this car so much but it don't make no sense bro but this is the best car i ever owned in my life i'm not even gonna lie i'm not even gonna over exaggerate it's the it's the cheapest car i ever bought but the most like i, I genuinely love this car like no exaggeration like i genuinely love this car record behind me record record behind me. driver just went bro and he did a good job but I feel like I want to see him do something crazier I want to see him do something crazier so I'm gonna uh he gonna go again so we can see 